Hi everyone, so unfortunately, once again, I'm forced to talk about John, the ex-vegan Venus. He was never vegan in the first place, but we'll get to that later. So John was known on YouTube as a vegan fitness influencer, but just recently he decided to quit the vegan diet and lifestyle with him and his wife Catherine, and uh, he's actually planning on hunting animals for their flesh now, which is pretty crazy. And so far, the only excuses John has made for doing this, for going back to murdering animals, have been purely based on health. Uh, he's made a bunch of claims talking about how him, his wife Catherine, and his son just can't get enough nutrition on a vegan diet. And uh, I recommend you all go and watch my past three videos responding to John because I debunk all of these health claims he's made. Uh, but now he has just released a video titled is eating meat wrong the truth and in this video he gives ethical reasons for why it is okay to eat meat now uh, if you actually go to his channel you won't be able to find this video because John deleted it and he didn't just delete it once he actually deleted it twice he uploaded the video then he deleted it then he uploaded it again and then I guess his better, you know, common sense took over and then he deleted again. So that should tell you how bad this video is. And I think that should also give you an indication on, you know, how low John is on the IQ spectrum. But in typical fashion, we're just going to go through this video and debunk each of his claims point by point for why he believes it is morally justifiable to eat meat. Hey everyone, John Venus here. So as some of you guys probably know, You've heard the news that I'm no longer vegan. <laughs> okay, so I just want to get this out of the way first. John keeps claiming he's an ex-vegan, he quit veganism. No, John, you never quit veganism because you weren't vegan in the first place. What you were was plant-based. You believed that a plant-based diet was ideal for your health, and now that you don't believe that anymore, you've gone back to eating meat. Veganism has nothing to do with health or nutrition. It's not a diet. It's an ethical belief. It's the belief that we should seek to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So, no, you clearly weren't vegan because you didn't hold these beliefs. You were only following a plant-based diet because you thought it was ideal for health. That's not veganism. And on top of that, John's reason for, like, quitting this lifestyle was just very, very minor health issues. Uh, he claimed that, you know, his skin was a little bad, he had some muscle cramps and joint pains, but no major health issues like nutrient deficiencies. And uh, John also contradicts some of these claims. He claimed his skin became better after eating meat. Well, on John's own Instagram just a few months ago, he posted how terrible his skin was back when he ate meat. So John, clearly you are never vegan. Stop making up this lie. Uh, somebody who was vegan and actually held those ethical beliefs wouldn't go back to murdering animals just because they have a few pimples or their skin is a little dry. And I've changed my perspective on things. I want to talk about whether or not eating meat is wrong. And this is the criticism that I'm currently getting over and over again that I'm wrong and an animal abuser for eating animals and that 99.9% .9 of the people on this planet are evil and wrong because they eat animals. So what John is doing here is pretty dishonest and I'd consider this a straw man. What John is trying to do here is he's trying to make the vegan position seem absurd by claiming that vegans believe that 99% of the people on the planet are pure evil just because they eat meat. And how could that be possible? How could virtually everyone on the earth be evil just because they're eating meat and doing something that everyone else is doing? Well, first of all, John, I don't think that's a position that the majority of vegans hold because we recognize that meat eating is culturally ingrained into our society. It's unreasonable to hold everyone to that moral standard where just because they eat meat, they're automatically evil when they've been brought up eating meat, they've essentially been brainwashed into a culture that believes that eating meat is fine, it's fine to kill animals just for taste pleasure. And we can analogize this to other horrible things that have happened throughout human history. 
Um, slavery has existed for thousands and thousands of years. It's only recently been abolished, and if you only go back a few hundred years, uh, I'm sure the majority of the people of that time would have thought that slavery is morally acceptable, it's normal, it's commonplace, and I'm sure they would never have imagined a future where slavery would have been abolished. And I'm sure you could even argue that up until relatively recent history, the majority of people on the planet had backwards bigoted beliefs. Uh, most people were racist, homophobic, sexist, xenophobic. Does that make the vast majority of people who ever lived, like, just evil because they don't adhere to our modern moral standards? No. Uh, people are a product of their culture, and the same applies with meat-eating today. It's unreasonable to claim that everyone who eats meat is just automatically evil when they've been indoctrinated into this culture. Just like how people of the past were indoctrinated into a culture where uh, racism was okay, homophobia was okay, slavery was okay. Now, that doesn't mean that any of these things are morally acceptable. We can recognize they are wrong without calling everyone evil, John. So not only are you just straw manning uh, the vegan position, no, the majority of vegans don't believe that everyone is evil, and you're also just giving meat-eating, killing animals for no justifiable reason a pass saying it's morally acceptable just because everyone else does it. Well, okay, John, if you're going to have that position, well, that would make racism okay, homophobia okay, slavery okay, just because everyone else did it. My position as a vegan for five years has always been that it's wrong for me because I'm an ethical vegan. I chose to be vegan after watching a movie on slaughter footage and, and all that, like the animal industry. And for me personally, it was wrong to eat meat knowing the truth and knowing or thinking I knew that it was unnecessary for my health to do so. But I never had the uh, notion that it was wrong for everyone else to choose to eat meat because everyone is entitled to their belief systems, uh, to their you know points of view, to their way of doing things. That is, you know, hopefully how the world will continue to operate. So it's pretty obvious why John deleted this video. Not only is it filled with pure stupidity, but he just made it painfully obvious that he's lying. In one breath, he claimed, you know, I was vegan. I thought it was morally wrong to needlessly just murder animals. And then in the next breath, he claimed, yeah, while I was vegan, I also thought it was fine for everyone else to murder animals. Like, John, would you say this to a serial killer? Would you say, you know, I personally don't believe it's right to murder people, but you know what, Mr. Serial Killer? You know, you do you. You go out and murder people. You know, everyone's entitled to their own beliefs. Who am I to judge you? And, um... People actually called John out for this in the comment section. So this is uh, a post that somebody made on Instagram. It's a screen capture of somebody replying to John in his comment section of this video. John obviously deleted the video, so I can't actually go back and look at the comment, but somebody actually screen captured it and shared this on Instagram. So somebody told John, so if I decide to beat my wife and it is culturally acceptable, is it okay because that is just my perception of what is right? And John responded, yeah, exactly. Yikes. And keep in mind that John re-uploaded this video twice. He uploaded the video. People made comments like this saying, okay, so are you saying wife beating is morally acceptable if everyone else does it? Then John said, oh, yeah, yeah, beating your wife is fine. Then he thought to himself, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe beating your wife isn't okay and these moral excuses I made are stupid deleted the video, then he second-guessed himself, and then said, oh, no, wait, is wife beating okay? No, wife beating has to be okay. I mean, I do it. So he uploaded it again, and uh, then I, I guess he deleted it for some reason. Who knows? So, yeah. Um, blows my mind. It's not that these people that don't share the same belief as vegans are ignorant to the fact that animals are dying. These people know and accept it and they are okay and at peace with it. it it doesn't mean that they are wrong or stupid or ignorant it just means that they have a different perspective and we have to understand that people are entitled to different perspectives and a different ways of thinking yeah john and some people have the belief and perspective that beating your wife and committing spousal abuse is just fine and i guess you're one of those people right 
yeah, maybe we shouldn't listen to your advice when it comes to morality. So a lot of people have a very different view on what is right and what is wrong. And that in itself kind of proves that right and wrong is not necessarily shared and uh, agreed upon by every single person on the planet. People have different opinions. Some people choose to beat their wives. So what changed for me personally that made it wrong before and now makes it right to eat animals? Well, I've always, like I just said, I've always believed that it's unnecessary for health and now I've changed my position on that. I think it is necessary for most people, if not everyone, to consume animal products. Okay, so first of all, there's absolutely no evidence for John's claim that most people need to eat meat or animal products to be healthy. According to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, the largest organization of nutrition professionals in the world, they released a published peer-reviewed statement claiming that 100% plant-based vegan diets are adequate for all stages of the life cycle, from pregnancy to adulthood, they're even suitable for athletes and offer benefits per for uh, prevention of chronic disease. So, uh, John, uh, this is just a belief you have. You have no evidence for this, and you're using this ridiculous belief to justify murder. Guess what? Albino people in Africa are being murdered because witch doctors believe that their body parts can be used to make magical spells which can make somebody invincible and immortal, can cure diseases like HIV. So just because somebody has this belief that they need to murder albino people for ideal health and prosperity, does that make it morally acceptable to murder albino people? What is the standard for health that you're talking about where it is justifiable to commit murder? Obviously, uh, going vegan uh, won't just make somebody drop dead, and the only health issues that you claim to have had were some muscle cramps, joint issues, you said your skin wasn't perfect, which I think is a bit of a lie. Does that, is that justifiable to commit murder just because, oh yeah, I have a few pimples on my face, I'm gonna go murder something so that, you know, the pimples clear up. This is obviously nonsense. You can't justify murder because you have the personal belief that if you murder something, it will somehow benefit you personally. And then you wonder why people are calling you an animal abuser. It's because that's what you are, John. You are murdering animals just because you think, oh yeah, it'll help my pimples clear up. Most people I've, I've talked to, they have a, a uh, view that morality and right and wrong is subjective based on each individual person's perception and point of view. So if my perception and my opinion based on my personal experience is that you need some animal products to be optimally healthy and that raising kids on a 100% vegan diet is more risky than raising a kid uh, with animal products included in their diet, then that's my right to believe so, right? Especially if your belief is that morality and right or wrong is subjective. Yeah, John, uh, the stupid reasoning that you've come up with, it could justify anything. It could justify murdering albino people. It could justify you beating your wife, as you've already mentioned. It could justify a Holocaust, slavery, rape. You could justify anything with this reasoning. Uh, the issue here isn't that morality is subjective. The issue is that your moral beliefs are self-contradictory. You can't claim that murder is wrong, and then at the same time claim that murder is okay. So what you're gonna have to do here, John, is name the trait. I'm sure you've heard of this argument before since you've been involved in the vegan community for a long time. Name the trait that is lacking in animals that if also lacking in a human being would justify murdering a human being. That's what you have to do. What is the trait difference between a human and an animal that justifies murdering an animal? And if you were to find a human being lacking that trait, you'd also have to be in favor of murdering that human being to be logically consistent. I know you can't do that. You are clearly not smart enough. And the only reason you have gone back to eating meat is because you are a selfish, awful person who cares more about the pimples on his face than the life of a sentient being. And if you have a more of an objective point of view on right and wrong and, and you believe that there is a guideline sent uh, from God and that there is a right and, and there is a wrong, then even then, you know, we know that it is our right to eat animals and to do something that we've been doing for millions of years and that all animals in nature are doing, whether you're a plant or an animal, we're eating animals. It doesn't make sense to me personally, and you may disagree with me and let me know what you think in the comments, but if there is a objective right and wrong and eating animals is objectively wrong, 
then, you know, humans wouldn't have been on this planet because we wouldn't have survived. So this is just an appeal to tradition fallacy. John is arguing that because we did something before or because it was necessary before, that makes it okay to do today even though it's not even necessary. Uh, okay, John, well, we committed rape, murder, tribal genocide in the past. Does that make it okay to do those things today? Uh, what if you uh, were in a self-defense uh, defense situation and you had to kill your attacker to save your own life? Does that mean you, after you do that, you get to murder whoever you want because it was necessary then, so that means I can do it all I want in, in any context? So this is just ridiculous. And uh, this argument is especially stupid because John is arguing that Oh, well, for, like, human survival, we needed to eat meat, so that makes it okay. Well, John, for human survival in modern times, eating a plant-based diet is ideal. If you look at uh, the UN's latest climate report and turn to chapter 5, page 76, they outline in the report that in an ideal scenario where no animal product consumption is consumed at all, Adequate food production could be achieved by 2050, so with a larger population than we have now, using less land for agriculture than we use today. So if everyone were to turn to a plant-based diet, we would have adequate nutrition and improved food security. So from top to bottom, this argument is stupid, and I think you know that because you deleted this video. So some people will say that, you know, uh, right is uh, related to how you feel. If you feel that you have a positive impact on an action, then it's right. If you have a negative feeling towards a certain action, then it's wrong. The fact is that people can have a completely different reaction to something uh, compared to someone else based on how we were raised, right? So someone that is raised on you know, Disney mu movies and Hollywood today and, and not in touch with nature will think that it's it feels wrong to kill Bambi in the woods with a knife or with a rifle or whatever. But someone just 50 years ago or 100 years ago would not feel the same, you know, negative feelings towards eating and, or hunting their food. They would actually probably feel the opposite. They will feel a sense of gratitude for the animal or a sense of happiness that they're now going to survive. And some other people have more of the viewpoint that uh, Yuval Noah Harari, the author of Sapiens, has in one of his books. I, if I recall correctly, <clears throat> he says that morality is dictated by the collective consciousness of the majority of humans on the planet. If the majority of people agrees that something is wrong, then it is wrong. And that's just how morality operates in our current system. So if you have that belief that the majority of people and the collective consciousness dictates what is right, what is wrong, eating meat in itself has to be right because 99.9% .9 of the people are doing it. So this is very much a repeat of his previous argument and he's making an appeal to popularity fallacy like, oh, well, you know, if most people, you know, agree with this, then, uh, you know, then it must be morally right. Well, okay, John, then I guess you agree that slavery was morally acceptable. I, I don't think I have to really go into detail on why this is stupid because you deleted the video. You already know. I do not know the truth. You do not know the truth. And the sooner we all realize that, the better. No, John, not everyone is as ignorant and idiotic as you. And the truth is that you are an awful, selfish person who murders animals for no justifiable reason. Um, the sooner we can respect each other's um, own ability and right to believe in different things, the better. The sooner we can stop shaming others for having a different opinion to yourself, the better. No, John, your beliefs are stupid and shameful and they should be ridiculed. And I think you know this because again, you deleted this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you uh, like this kind of content, then consider supporting me on Patreon or through my website. I have some funding perks you may find interesting. If you're looking for clothing, then check out the Vegan Gains store. And if you're looking for online coaching, then check out Quality Gains. He offers customized meal and training programs. And if you click the link in the description, you can get a free ebook. And as always, keep making those vegan gains. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.